New York State's top educator and prosecutor out today with new safety guidelines for schools. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya shows us now, this state guidance is an order to protect students from discrimination. In just a couple of weeks, school will be in full force with school halls packed and pencils in hand. With that in mind, the New York State Department of Education and the State Attorney General sent out two letters aimed at protecting immigrant students. The State Education Department Commissioner Mary Ellen Elia says the reason for the letters are, quote, recent actions by the federal government have created fear and confusion in schools, particularly among immigrant communities. It is imperative that we protect all students as well as the information we have about them to the fullest extent. The letters clarify the purpose of a school resource officer, which is to protect the right to receive public education without fear of immigration and customs enforcement. SROs cannot have access to student records. To Iroquois Central School District Superintendent Douglas Schofield, this is already standard practice. I think it's a nice reminder from the state here at Iroquois, we do have an SRO. His first and primary responsibility is safety of the children. The goal of the letters is to make sure that every time a student walks through school doors, they're in a safe place. And that's how you get your percentile right. The letters also remind New York schools that disciplinary practices must not discriminate, which is another thing Superintendent Schofield says Iroquois schools were already doing. All discipline is done fair and equitable. We have rubrics that we look at to keep within the guidelines. Attorney General Letitia James says the letters outline what kind of place schools should be. Quote, New York has always been and always will be a safe place for all students, regardless of race, ethnicity, or one's nation of origin. And that includes our schools. In Elma, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.